Well, we're at the Upper Clarence River Bridge. Um, this is the main road access into the community that lives up here. Um, it's basically gone. Um, it's washed away. The deck's probably sitting in the new Clarence River or the lake that's up here. Um, what's quite typical of, of bridges as you approach them in this area at the moment is that there's a lot of road damage leading up to them. Uh, the road approach will settle and fill. You'll see there's a step up to the main concrete bridge which um, apart from the fact that it's missing up there, this part of the bridge is in pretty good shape. So you see a lot of settling um, in the approaches to bridges. And the bridge itself can be um, okay. And what do you think about all this um, water in here Rob? Well what's quite amazing is that the, um, the land has dropped down here so uh, the river has flooded in and the, uh, the edge of the water is essentially the edge of the fault zone and we're looking up. This whole field apparently was flat um, on Sunday night um, so all of the vertical change you can see in, in the landscape has happened during the earthquake over a distributed zone that's 70 to 100 metres wide. Well you can really see those uh, orchard rows offset to the left climbing up that uh, zone of faulting can't you? That's right yeah. And we'll just have a quick look at this bridge and new Clarence uh, channel. How safe are we Rob right now? What were the abutments like? Well um, if there's a large aftershock we might be a little bit nervous um, but the the uh, haven't looked at the abutments. Um, I've stood on here yesterday and felt pretty stable but I wouldn't want to spend too long on here. Over on the other side of the river over there you can actually see the candy striped um, telegraph or electrical pole and that's sitting right on the fault. Um, and what's actually happened here, it's kind of important but the river has um, split in two and diverted. The usual course of the Clarence is to go over to the west side over there and, and down there if you've done the rafting trip. And half of the river flow has actually been diverted across the fault. So you've got the fault there, the fault there, and the river's actually diverted over onto that side because it's now lower over there. The fault scarp in the distance is above the candy stripe pole and it rolls down so over in the distance is actually now four meters lower than the other side where the river used to flow. So the river has a tendency to want to go to the lower area, it flows down there and it's forming a big lake again um, with a breach in the front where half of the river is actually banking up and filling in that side of the valley. Well that must be an um, absolute disaster for the farmers who've planted their crops on that. So um, what do you think Rob? Can this be remediated? Can the flow be redirected down to the uh, true right of the river or is it stuck going down the true left? That's quite a tough question really. Um, it brings up tectonic and uh, social reasons I guess or social outcomes. Um, you'd really have to build in a very solid stop bank all the way across here and, and have an excavator dig some channels to, to coax the water to go back in that direction over there but gravity wants to take at least part of the flow of the river now over that way so you're fighting against the river and gravity. Yeah I guess we're in flood so when the river drops maybe, um, maybe things will look a bit happier for the farmers. Could be.